the endocannabinoid system and the vagal nerve seem to do similar things in the sense that they serve as kind of metronomes and regulating functions across different organs and across the whole nervous system. And um, the endocannabinoid system, right? I mean, it, it's as old as like 500 million years ago. It shows up in sea sponges. It shows up in all vertebrates. It shows up throughout our systems. And it's actually one of the only systems in our body that talks bidirectionally to different organs. And it's, and it's responsible for neurogeneration, for healing, for, for um, you know, blood pressure, for um, immune responses, all kinds of things. And you're like, okay, the cannabinoid system, obviously by the luck of botany, happens to match with the five leaf plant cannabis. Mm. Right as Michael Pollan said, it 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 soothes man. It soothed man's mind to borrow his legs, and therefore traveled mm. all the way around the world. It came out of the Tibetan plateau like twenty five thousand years ago. Mm. So it's a pure fluke, actually, that cannabis happens to match our pre existing super ancient endocannabinoid system, right? And if you simply smoke a bunch of weed, pure you, fluke, maybe. Well, yeah, <laughs> depending, depending on your metaphysical worldview. Except for the ganja goddess told me one night, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, but I mean, other than that, kind of accidental, sure. but so beyond all the marketing hype of CBD and, and, and cannabis growers and dispensaries, there's actually real truth to it. Like the endocannabinoid system is the miracle.